chapter for you all. The chapter number 9, Energy and Power Resources. So, this is a new chapter. So, as you all know that nothing can move without power, isn't it? So, energy is required for almost all the activities. So, take it right from the small household work to the complex industrial process. So, everywhere, what is required? Energy is required. Okay? So, energy means is the ability to do work. So, in this chapter, you are going to see the various sources, the energy and the power resources. That means from where do we get this energy? So, now let's see the definition. What is an energy source? So, an energy source can be defined as something that a person or an organization can use to produce heat, power or electricity. So, sources means it's something, okay, that a person or an organization, like you can say an industrial organization, that you, uh, they use to produce heat, power or electricity. So, that means they are the source of heat, power or electricity. As I already told you all, that nothing can move without power. Okay, then next thing. Now, what is a fuel? You said that it's also the source of energy, isn't it? So, a naturally occurring substance that stores energy. That means this is also proportional and that means it also gives us energy. Okay, so that we call it as a fuel. A naturally occurring substances that stores energy. Now, these energy resources can be divided into two categories. Okay, it has been divided into two groups. So, number one is a renewable energy and number two is a non-renewable source. Now, what do you mean by renewable source of energy? These are those energy, means the sources that can be used again and again. Okay? Since the, the supply is unlimited in nature, so we can use it again and again. So, these sources are known as renewable source of energy. Okay? As the stock is unlimited in supply. So, example, you have solar power, wind energy, hydropower and geothermal. So, these energy uh, are categorized as a renewable source of energy. And on the other hand, we have non-renewable. So, the name itself, the word itself suggests non-renewable. That means these sources of energy cannot be used again and again. The stock gets exhausted. Okay, once it is used, we cannot use it the second time or the third time. And the stock are limited in nature. These resources are limited in nature. And nowadays, okay, the use of these energy is more than its um, consum uh, sorry, conservation. So, therefore, we need to conserve this non-renewable source of energy by finding the alternative source of sources of energy. So, the examples of non-renewable are coal and petroleum. Okay.